welcome to another edition of the Blazing Beard Bulls blog. And oh, I've got my stocking. And what am I pulling out? Oh, that's money. Mm -hmm. What am I pulling out? Oh, that's money. Let me tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, the Blazing Beard says this team is money. We are seeing this team do exactly what we have been hoping for years that they would do, and that is rounding into wicked form. And yes, Anthony Davis, you are a beast, but. Yes, we beast harder. So what else is in the Blazing Beard stocking? Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. I think another championship is coming this year, and uh, I don't mind saying it right now because obviously, you know, that's what my stocking is telling me. My stocking is saying, Jimmy Butler, here's a dollar for you. Maybe you need a few million more, but you're playing like you're making it already. Yeah, the Blazing Beer, we have been rebounding the ball like we need to do. We have been crashing the boards over the past eight or nine games like we need to do. And the rest of the league is like, oh, strangely enough, they weren't playing defense or rebounding well. Look, things take time to come together. Families take time to get to know each other. And this is what's happening now only a third of the way through the season. This Bulls team know each other. They have the chemistry. And we've got a deeper team than anybody else in the league. We've got twin towers. We've got the most amazing backcourt. Our offense is churning. The defense will get there, but what we really have, Bulls fans, is depth. And depth that we're not going to have next year because somebody's got to leave. And depth that the rest of the league doesn't have this year, so we have to capitalize on it. I mean, you lose one person on the Cavs, Verjao, and their chances are pretty much done. I mean, LeBron's going to be able to, you know, be LeBron, but... There is depth. We have had the best bench, and I've been saying this all season. We have the best bench we've ever had with Rose. Brooks is the best fit we've ever had. Yeah, the Blazing Beard. I'm not hating on Nate, but let's get real. Besides, like, big shots, he also took horrible shots. Brooks gets in there and is huge in the fourth quarter. And this is a team that, although they start slow sometimes, and that's my biggest criticism of them, they come to ball in the fourth quarter. So go Bulls, because you are pulling down rebounds, and rebounds equal rings, and you are uh, attacking, attacking, attacking. One of the things that I love most is that I looked up in the fourth quarter last night when I thought, oh, the Bulls usually in the last few years start to give it up, but who was coming in like a madman? Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler shot. Jimmy Butler and one. Jimmy Butler, dramatic fashion freak, throw the shot up, make it. Look, Jimmy's for real. And this team is just going to get more for real. So Bulls fans, I'm the Blazing Beard Bulls blog. Keep it positive, keep it peaceful. And we know that ooh, this is just such a delicious year. And everybody's saying as long as we don't get injured. But the beautiful thing about it is that we are deep enough to rest people so that each one more can come in and Kirk doesn't have to get super worn down. Tibbs has the depth to make the kind of rotation decisions that we've been asking for for years. So go Bulls, play strong, because right now we're in the middle of a tear in this league, and I can only see things getting better and deeper and rounding out. This, I think, could be the one, ladies and gentlemen. So go Bulls, peace!